At the state capitol, lawmakers are poised to end their last day of the session with a bipartisan vote to help farmers. The proposals would cut taxes for farmers by nearly $30 million a year. Capitol Bureau Chief Emily Fannin is live at the Capitol. And Emily, this comes after the governor called for immediate action to help the struggling agriculture industry. Amber, that's right. Last month, Governor <laughs> Evers called lawmakers to take immediate action to help the struggling agriculture industry as the state is suffering from ba farm bankruptcies and an oversupply of milk. And tonight, we are seeing a rare occasion of bipartisanship as the state assembly is passing several proposals to send aid to farmers. Under these proposals, well, here's a look at what's in these proposals. Farmers could receive up to $7,500 in tax credits if they make at least $35 $5,000. Others could be eligible for a tax break to deduct the cost of their health insurance. About $5 billion will be put towards expanding exports for milk, meat, specialty crops, and other dairy products. Small dairy farms could also apply for grant money, the total available being $600,000. Farmers are pretty realistic people, but they're also full of common sense. And no matter how many of us stand up here and say we understand what you're going through, the reality is they're having a hard time paying their bills. We're grateful that um, the governor brought attention to this and that the Republicans are um, moving forward with things as a result of that. The Senate passed the proposals yesterday, and uh, several of these proposals are currently being passed right now and should be wrapping up the rest of them by this evening. That means by tomorrow morning, the governor will have some bills on his desk that he can sign to help release some aid to our struggling agriculture industry. Reporting live at the state capitol, Emily Fannin, 27 News.